During the 90s and early 2000s, it seemed like Edward Norton was pretty much everywhere. He took roles in a wide range of classic movies including Fight Club, American History X, Kingdom of Heaven, Red Dragon, and The Illusionist, and was beloved by fans almost as much as he was lauded by critics. In recent years, however, it feels like he's almost entirely disappeared from mainstream Hollywood. Here's why. Leading the Trail Despite his hasty retreat from the acting spotlight, Norton has kept himself busy on the production side of the film industry. Since 2015, he's been listed as a producer on Lewis & Clark, a long-awaited HBO miniseries about the two famous explorers who trekked through the Louisiana Purchase at the dawn of the 19th century. It's taken a long time um, getting it all together, but we finally are ready and we're starting to shoot it this summer. Unfortunately, filming on Lewis and Clark shut down after only two months. Thanks to an array of further production issues, the series still has no release date. Calling the Shots In over 20 years in Hollywood, Norton has only directed one movie, Keeping the Faith, a 2000 rom-com about a Catholic priest and a rabbi fighting over the woman they both love. Norton has recently returned to the director's chair, however, with Motherless Brooklyn, a 50s crime drama adapted from the novel of the same name. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Motherless Brooklyn has been the subject of some controversy. A fire on location destroyed an apartment in March 2018, leading to a lawsuit against Norton's production company for recklessness, carelessness, and negligence. The same Blaze also claimed the life of firefighter Michael Davidson, whose family subsequently issued a wrongful death lawsuit against the company. Working Behind the Scenes one of Norton's most recent roles came thanks to Seth Rogen's animated movie Sausage Party, in which Norton voiced Sammy Bagel Jr., an anthropomorphized bagel who sounds suspiciously like Woody Allen. Both the character and his familiar-sounding voice was Norton's idea. Oh, look, can we all just, you know, calm down a notch, please? Let's, let's try to be, I don't know, amicable? I'm Sammy Bagel Jr., uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to meet all of you. Rogan told Deadline, he really latched onto it and was a huge proponent of it, and said from the very beginning that he wanted to play a bagel that sounded like Woody Allen. Norton was also instrumental in getting Sausage Party made in the first place, encouraging Rogan and his collaborator Evan Goldberg to stick it out when the going got tough, and convincing other big stars to voice characters in the movie, including Kristen Wiig and Salma Hayek. A Major Bomb Norton's most recent major role came in 2016's Collateral Beauty. Despite a stellar cast and some pre-release Oscar buzz, however, the movie flopped hard at the box office, earning a measly $31 million in the U.S., largely because it shared a release date with Rogue One. Critics panned the movie, too, and Collateral Beauty ended up failing to provide the comeback vehicle for Norton that it so easily could have been. Family Focus Though he's usually pretty cagey about publicly discussing his personal life, Norton has opened up to The Independent about his decision to ease up on acting. He cited his personal and family life as a reason for this, highlighting the need to strike a balance between acting and what he called other things that are really compelling or interesting or challenging to a different part of your brain or your personality. The conversation soon turned to Norton's view of the film industry as a whole. He said, I just think that I'm less interested than I used to be in, like, exploring genre for the sake of it. He went on to explain that he prefers to take roles in movies which are innovative or unique, or are helmed by particular filmmakers he respects such as Spike Lee or Wes Anderson. Doesn't quite explain Sausage Party, though. Roasting Marvel in 2018, Norton made a rare televised appearance as a guest at the Comedy Central roast of Bruce Willis. Naturally, Norton made some harsh jabs toward his Moonrise Kingdom co-star, but much of Norton's routine appeared to simply be a setup to attack Norton's true nemesis, Marvel, saying, I did a big action movie called The Incredible Hulk. I thought we should try to make one Marvel movie that was as good as the worst Chris Nolan movie. But what the hell was I thinking? Eu, Haiva, muito ruim. 